Okay, how are we doing? So I'm here with Dave Yellen, who is, uh, he's the brave one. Who, uh, uh, we are here at, whoops, can you see me? Damn it. We're going to have to do a little bit of fiddling around with this for a while because um, we are at, you can't see me, can you? We're at a critical juncture unprecedented and very exciting. I'm glad the two of you are here. Um, so what's happening now, instead of um, sharing a screen as I had wanted to, the um, uh, I will just tell you right now, there's a ton of information coming in for him, information that that um, wants to be delivered. And uh, also, we're kind of in this place where like, I have no idea what's going to happen today, <laughs> because, because we're going through a, um, we're going through a portal, I have never done a private session, uh, private, I've never done a private session with um, publicly, I'm assuming you haven't either. Um, so, so, um, but this is what's it's so just a, I knew that this was going to happen a little bit of um, a little I want to this is going to be a bit of a co-creative space um, so it's going to be a little bit like a um, like one of yes thank you so much for for being the one to um, to commence this I also want to uh, I want to preface this going into, like, I've never spoken to him before. Um, I, I knew coming into this that it was going to be kind of uneven energetic terrain. And we're establishing, uh, we're going through a gateway. We're actually creating a gateway going for like um during this session we are all co-creating this gateway and he's the other column so but i've never spoken to him before we haven't had a conversation so all of us are just kind of going into this thing um and you know that if you've watched any of my live streams previously um usually at the at the beginning of it there's a bit of uh you know we're gonna fiddle around with the energies things i can feel things streams are being adjusted so some of it is um some of it is his information that's coming in and we're definitely going to talk um uh it's going to be a session but there's a it's like there's three way merge and it's complex energetics at this particular juncture so there's going to be a, a it's sometimes i'm going to be talking to him because uh we couldn't get the connection to go cor uh, really correctly on one screen so i've got him on the phone next to the computer so i'm going to be talking on the phone next to him and you guys i guess will watch it that way but then there's a whole bunch of ambient things that are moving around so um Bear with me. Per usual, there are a little bit of uh, like last minute adjustments. Hang on a minute. Stephanie, I just wanted to quickly mention. Yes. That I live alone with my 28 year old kid who's a quadriplegic. Every half hour or so, I have to run and tilt him in his wheelchair for a couple minutes. And Great. Put him back up. Perfect. So when it's convenient, I, I'll run and go do that. You know what? Actually, whenever you th just, that's actually perfect. Yeah. What's his name? AJ. What is it? AJ. AJ? Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Anytime you need to get up, just, you know, we'll just, we'll merge it. Um, that's actually a welcome. That's going to happen at exactly the right time. That's perfect. That's actually, that's really perfect. Okay. Um, so how actually just, 
really, I'm not in charge of any of it. I just kind of uh, want to have a sense of how, how are you doing on time? Do you have, to, I was actually going to ask you if you had a time that you had to, to leave by. I have no time constraints. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> because um, I never know how these things are going to go. But I, nah, shit, just a second. I'm trying to get, because I know that when it starts to run, it's really going to run. And it's already running. But it's it's interesting because there's, um, I know that, uh, okay, so in preparation for this session, which is, because this is a different kind of session. And the reason, so I was so interested, hang on a minute, there's, Normally, what would happen in a private session is it wouldn't be, uh, thank you for your indulgence. Um, I would just be looking at you and talking to you. But right now, there's like really a lot of information coming through because it's merging with yours and it's all mer merging with theirs as well. So, um, but like this is a really pivotal Pivotal gateway. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. You do your thing. Thank I'm you. Hanging out watching. So there's a, um, but then I, I want to make sure that we, um, you're a very important, not only because it's your, <laughs> your private session, but also because um, it's significant. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot going on. Wow. Okay, they're they're working on expanding my comfort zone, and uh, right now because just when you get comfortable, they're like, "All right, you're fine with that. We'll expand it." Um, I haven't uh, yet delivered the background information because there really is a lot of background information. Um, uh, I'm. I'm having difficulties organizing this inform this inform this material because there's so much of it it's moving it looks very much like um pale vortexes and uh, it lo almost looks like a bouquet of vortexes um there's a tremendous amount of excitement tremendous amount of excitement for this juncture which we've been waiting for for a very very long time so the first thing that's coming in for you um which I've known about uh, prior to this session, I knew knowing that uh, it was an important energetic gateway. They were preparing me also uh, the last two days. I had to stay in bed um, because, and they told me not to do anything, anything, anything. I actually had to stay in bed under the covers. Um, and this actually relates very strongly to the financial system. My bank account had gone down to $4 and, uh, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that later, but there was a, I had to go as close, everything in my life had to go be scraped down to the bare bones. And then I had to, and I had to meet that fearlessly. And there was an emptying out. And they made me stay in bed for two days. And then I got, uh, I got this information that um, I was kind of waiting to see who was going to be the person who came in because I know that the, um, the co-creation process, there had to be a portal established. And I have been struggling with, um, I've been struggling with this for a long time, um, making progress, but there was still a lot to do. And uh, I, uh, I called for a divine intervention so that we could get the propulsion that we needed. Um, and part of this doesn't have to do with you, but just to lead up to the part where you come in, um, there was a preparation. Uh, whew, there was a preparation. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is really running. This is really running. I'm very glad. Um, and I could feel it building and then I was being pulled back and I could feel it building and I, I know the last couple of live streams, I said at the end of every one, there was so much information that wanted to come through. 
And I said, well, I'm going to cut it off at four hours, but I'm going to like do another live stream tomorrow. And then something pulled me back. The, um, there has been a strong tug, um, energies that, that were attached to mine largely from my twin who were pulling me in the opposite direction. So what we did, um, what was done, I called for divine intervention, um, and divine intervention came, not just because I called, but just because it came because they saw the struggle. Um, they severed the cord temporarily. It's not a true severing, but um, they put in structures to, um, to make it so that I was no longer being pulled back and I could focus all of my energy going forward um, so that we could actually catch up, do a certain amount of catching up to where we're supposed to be. Um, so I, <laughs> we needed... For this gateway, we needed a mas we needed a, a divine masculine to hold the other column. So I knew that there that the going into the gateway, because you know everything of mine is sequential, and I know that I worked with the last person that uh, I had a private session with um, was an artist, is an artist, and uh, her name is Zoya, and you know that every one of my uh, my sessions and my live streams and all of this is uh, sequential. It works like a paper chain. So I and I know what she was working on, and I was very excited to get to the next one. And I was waiting to see who was going to come in. So I'm so glad that it was you, particularly because most of the, the majority of the people that I work with are women. So it's significant that it's you and coming into this session there were a couple things that happened i had two basically like two two three days of kind of emptiness and darkness not darkness but like a, there was like a vacancy and i could tell that i was being prepared they told me to hold still i had to go into hermit mode um and then the, the nighttime activity has been really, really, really busy. And then they told me to take a shower. So you and I were supposed to go on at 2 o'clock. And it was my intention to share a screen with you. Um, but they, they told me that I had to take a shower. It was very important. Like there was pre all of a sudden there was like last minute preparation. Um, please don't eat those on my bed. Um, <laughs> thank you. Seriously, don't, don't eat them on my bed. <laughs> um, there was last minute preparation. Thank you. <sighs> but I also knew that, um, because information this morning, I, uh, information was coming in, uh, <sighs> I know what your session is ab uh, about. I don't know anything about you, but I was, um, okay, hang on a minute. They want me to park that for a second. That There's information that's, that's um, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's reorganizing going around. I, in, gosh, I'm losing linearity. Hang on a second, hang on. So what this feels like very much, it feels like there's a gateway. <laughs> there, it feels like there's a gateway, or a, a, um, uh, it almost looks like a driveway, and the energy has been running very strongly, and in preparation for this session, uh, they had me do a lot of last minute adjustment. They were doing it on behalf of the two of us, and then while I was in the shower, for those of you who don't know, if you are... Uh, very often when uh, when we're in the shower, it's a very good time for um, for intuition. You know, if, if you're, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. We're playing catch up, but there, right now there's so much energy going through. It's It reminds me a little bit of like 
uh, like two columns on the side of a driveway and somebody opens the gate and it's like you're holding one side and I'm holding the other because we've just got to create this channel and it feels like the start of a marathon like it like feels like there's tons of there's like a population who's just been like waiting for this portal and there's all of this information coming through so um for those of you who know about like the twin flame journey and all uh i've got to take this thing off my head um you know that by and large the divine masculines have been um trailing uh, they've been taken over they've been taking a really long time so um Not you. <laughs> You're actually one that's holding it really, really well. That's why you stepped up. So I'm thrilled about that. Uh, and so is everybody else. So <laughs> that's why. Uh, all right. Oh, wait. Oh, shake it off. <sighs> okay. I think we're just going to take the top off this for a minute. <sighs> Gee whiz. <sighs> Okay, when this when this settles, it's almost like we've got to take the like the foam off the top of the beer or something. There's like all of the excitement, like uh, like tap the brakes, take the edge off a little bit, and then I can actually focus and we can have a a session. This is um, we've got a three way merge. Okay, I'm very glad. You know. Uh, so I should say, while I was in the shower, it's a very good time for intuitive uh, intuition to come flowing through. And the fact that they, um, it's an emollient, it, uh, it helps uh, energy and information travel are picked up and carried very easily on water. So while I was in the shower just prior to this session, I was shedding the old information they want. It was significant that they told me to take a shower just prior to this session. So I really had to, and I, I you know, I used salt and everything, and I had to um, uh, really set an intention of leaving one era behind because this is such a critical juncture. Leaving one era behind and knowing that this session with you was going to um, open uh, uh It's like we oh, we're opening the floodgates, and I needed I needed a uh, I needed a counterpart. So they say energetically you're very strong. So while I was in the shower, um, information started flooding in about. Um, and so I what I was going to proceed. I'm not sure how much of this is going to be something like my live stream, and how much of it is going to be about uh, the process of co-creation, because this is really the era that we're stepping into. But um, I want to start. Excuse me. My nose never runs until I start. I go on, and then all of a sudden, I I wind up blowing my nose all the time. Um, The main thing that came in for you, and is coming in again now, it's right behind me. And it also, I should also say that if you're listening to this, this affects you. There, I, I had noticed that um, that every time, for a while now, every time I did a private session with someone, I know that it relates to an entire group, but we hadn't recorded them. And I always thought it was a shame because it's not so much that like private information comes out that's too, um, that, that's, it's not like going to a therapist or something. Um, it's more like basically nothing really has happened um, that's like too private to share. And also we're stepping into a, and I know you know this already, we're stepping into an era where transparency is essential. We're commencing, we're establishing the new template for the way it's going to be. And we're the leaders. We are collectively the leaders. So we can't, there's a, um, there's a cosmic law. When, uh, when things are working well, particularly in the fifth dimension, where we are the creators of the way it's going to be from this point forward. So as we go through this gateway held by the two of us, 
We're the ones in the driver's seat. And the cosmic law says when it has when it's been when it is free of corruption, we all know that we all know what happened in the third dimension where um, the cosmic law has been corrupted and bastardized so that it wasn't working correctly. And this is now the correction. But someone has to anchor it and carry it in. It is a time of full transparency. The cosmic law says it is not right to demand of anyone else that they do something that you yourself cannot or will not or are unable to do. Therefore, we can't say, and oh, also, um, the entire world begins from us. So we ourselves must be able to withstand full transparency if we are demanding full transparency from the government, full transparency from the pharmaceutical industries, full transparency from everything, we need to be the ones to do that first and say, this is now, from this point forward, this is what we do. And it is, because here's the thing, you know this already. <laughs> if you give your power away to an external source, they don't. They, if they don't want you to have it, they're not going to say, okay, since you asked, I'll be fully transparent. Taking our power back means we say, this is the way it's done. This is what you're going to mirror me, buddy. I'm not following in your footsteps of the industry or the industry's footsteps. It should be this way, but it's not. No, we're going to say, no, this is the way it is. I am telling you. So... The first thing that's coming in for you, <laughs> and th therefore the rest of us, is um, massive, massive, massive um, congratulations. <laughs> there was, uh, I can hear it. For those of you who are Claudian, uh, you can probably hear it too. There really is cheering. The thing that came in was, um, uh, it looks like, Again, going back to the um, to like to, to the, the gateway that had to be held by two, and one is in masculine form and one is in feminine form. And I'm just the loud one that verbalizes everything. <laughs> there is um, there is an immense amount of gratitude for the the pe uh, the people, those of us who are working on the ground, who have been the um uh. uh been those who came down with um, as buckets, <laughs> as buckets to bail, to pick up the darkness and to pick up the darkness and process it and pick up the darkness and process it. And those of us who've been working over and just working and working and working and working and working. There is an immense amount of congratulations and cheering for the fact that we're finally going through this threshold. And for you personally, I could, I knew we were going to get to you personally in a minute. <laughs> um, there's a, of course this goes for everyone, but I can feel, I can feel your people. There's a tremendous amount of uh, whew, love and support for you. I can feel your soul family. And it's funny because I can, I, it feels as though, boy, you are just surrounded by, um, by family that I, it, it feels like family members, um, like uh, immediate family members and also soul family members, but it's coming from, it's like the cheering from the angelic realm is coming all, it, it's, it's coming for everybody and it's all around. And it, it's just enormous. But then I could feel something personally for you. And that's coming from a level that seems like it's, um, it's from a lower strata. I don't know if these are people that you are connected to. It feels like it's your extended biological family, actually. It feels, but it's very, you're very much, um, really very supported. I, it feels as though, 
um, the energy really shifts when I focus on just you. It's like there's like the Boston Marathon, um, except it, here's the weird thing. The Boston Marathon analogy that I used before, it feels like we're, we're simultaneously at the finish line of the marathon. And also, as we go through this gateway, it's the... Um, Somehow it's like the, the like we're flooding through into the new. Um, we're just going through we're going through this gateway. Um, it's like opening the floodgates. Everyone's gonna come through, but then on the on the other side, it's all light, and it's like the simultaneously the finish line, and also the very beginning of the thing. So don't let that throw you because um, for those of us who are bloody exhausted because we've been doing this for the longest time and we just want us to stop, like when can we rest, when can we rest? The, um, uh, the answer is now there's like this turnover where the depletion is gone. You know, it's like for those of us who remember dying, um, who we know what death is like. And how many of us who have, like, begged for, like, when does this end? When does this end? When does this end? Just let me go home. Um, there's, like, a, there's, like, a death and rebirth um, process where you're tired and you want to die because you have no energy and it's, it's you, you want it to stop. But what you really want is for the invigoration and the joy. You know, you want to feel the, the rebirth. So that's the portal that we're going through now. There's a, just a tremendous amount of gratitude. This is what was coming in for you when I was in the shower. A tremendous amount of just gratitude for the fact that you stepped up. Tremendous amount of gratitude. There's the, the word, um, they want you to not sell yourself short. Um, there's, I, I feel as though this is something there's going, they're going to repeat it for you over and over. And also for all of you who are watching, um, the day has come and it's now. And in a weird way, you know how when we're working and we're working and we're working and it's daily, day in and day out, we're just, it just, it feels never ending. It just feels never ending. When can, when's it going to stop? When's it going to stop? And it feels, it feels like we knew this day was coming for the longest, longest time, but all of a sudden it, it's almost like it sneaks up on us. And it's like, wait, what? What? It's now? What? Um, <laughs> there's a feeling of, of release. And so here's what's happening. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> um, uh, there's a feeling of, relief, relief and commencement. Um, it's happening energetically before it happens in, I can't even say the third, thank you. I can't even say, um, I can't even say the third dimension because the third dimension is no more. We have not been anchored in that for a while, but before we see it really, uh, really, what's the word? I almost said hit us in physical form, but I don't want to use that word. Before we, it, it really, um, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Engagement. Before we really pick it up or feel it, um, what's the word for that? Uh, Realize. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's going to merge with our physical bodies. <laughs> so we're going to be able, we're going to be able to um, uh, be reinvigorated in, a, in 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 physical form. We're going to be able to uh, uh, step more fully into light body. We're going to feel the realization of that. There's going to be a a, a uh, there's a huge wave of energy that's going to reinvigorate everyone. So. This always happens in energetic form before it, it really, like, I almost want to say it hits the external populace. So the thing that came in, um, I know we're, uh, I'm going, I think it's just turning really, really fast. Um, <laughs> wait, thank you for your indulgence. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for your indulgence. 
I'm just, it, it, uh, wait a minute, wait, <laughs> wait, it's like a carousel. It's almost like I can't catch it. Um, some of this is, is, is just your, the tremendous amount of gratitude for you. There, it's like you've got, I'm trying to focus on just the things that are, are around you, but it's, everything is spinning, so I, it, I, it keeps going off into spirals. Um, Uh, I know that when I first started to do live streams, it was also extremely disorganized. I have an idea that this is very much, um, it's similar. This, this particular live stream uh, is very fast, and uh, there's going to be a point, um, I can tell you, when the, when the floodgates kind of, um, it's less of a stampede, it's going to just be more of a very steady flow. But right now there's just a certain amount of like built up tension. So all of those of us who have been chomping at the bit and just trying to get to the other side, we just have to wait until the, the stampede calms down a little bit. <laughs> um, so this is what's, uh, this uh, is what I would like to say. If, if during this live stream, because I really want to make sure, oh, yeah, because we're going to get to that in a second. Hang on a minute. Um, this absolutely has to do with the financial system and resources getting to everyone who has, um, who has contributed. It is extremely important that everyone who has been investing, 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 investing in the fifth dimensional system, but has not yet uh, received the return that is deserved. It's very important uh, that we, uh, that the ratio is, uh, is rebalanced. Uh, that, that's not the right word, but it's something like that. Basically, everyone is going to get a uh, payday. <laughs> and that's, that's we all hear a big cheer. <laughs> um, the payday we've been waiting for, and hence the stampede, right? So, so right now, the the balance that we're trying to do is always. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. What I started to say was, if, if in the chaos of the and the speed of this live stream today, um, <laughs> ah, I'm going to make sure that you get your money, your your money's worth. That's what I want to say in, in a nutshell. If we get care, if we get swept away in the in the wash, and there's not enough of personal time, I'm definitely going to get back to you because I want to make sure that you get a full session that's just about you. So whatever happens, um, <laughs> it feels like a tide right now. It feels it feels like a tide. Okay. Um, and then I know that I want to. I want to, There's a certain bit, a uh, certain amount of backstory that I wanted to say about uh, a um, little bit about um, Zoya's session because I know that everything is sequential, and I know that her um, her session was directly preceded yours, or this one. And I know that it's also, uh, oh, let me, okay, I, I will establish a precedent and then I'll get back to it. Um, thank you for your indulgence. <laughs> thank you for stepping up. There's a tremendous amount of gratitude around you, not just from me, but from other people too. There's, um, there's a whole group of people around you. It feels very much like a, a, like a huge, long, uh, almost like an Italian family or like a, like maybe not Italian, but, but, um, it feels like ancestry, your ancestry. And there, there's like this great big group of people around you. And it feels, it, it's like they're coming up from beneath and it's not like they have their hands on you, but I feel support almost like they're, 
almost like something like this. And they're, they're just supporting you to make sure that you have everything you need because they, boy, they really know the job you're doing. We all do. Um, I mean, energetically, like, I don't know any of your specifics and you haven't even talked at all yet. <laughs> hang, on, hang on a second. We're going to get there. Um, also, your son is very important to the, the fact that uh, that already you mentioned and brought him into the, uh, that's very, very important. And the, the words, go. say it again. Let, let me go tell Tim quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear you still now. Okay. Everybody. Okay. There's a tremendous amount of thank you, thank you, thank you. That's coming from just an immense, that's, there, it's almost like there's a sign. It's, I see the words around you is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the job. And I get the, the sense of just a, just a, I almost said a tireless effort, except that's totally inaccurate because the exhaustion is real. The exhaustion is real. And they, it's not just for him. There's so many of us who have been in this position who have just been endlessly, endlessly, endlessly working. And almost all of us have been underpaid. Huh. Um, it's, uh, but there's uh, so interesting. I, as soon as you came back on camera, this, it's, it's to put too fine a point on it or repeat it too much, but really, there's it's all there's a sign in back of you that um <laughs> the words thank you and they're the it's the size of like like something that you'd see a like a red lobster sign or something like that like well, some huge billboard was just in back of you and this is it's it's like the people around you are saying thank you and propping you up and it's it's basically the um i'm going to try and focus on your session right now um for those of you who are listening um, take whatever resonates, but I think that a lot of it is going to resonate because, um, hang on, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me call in our, uh, I'm going to call in guides for a second. It, this is all, all being done automatically anyway, but I feel like um, I'm calling in I'm calling for aid in um, angelic help, I'm calling on our highest level personal guides to assist me with the following intent, to assist us with the following intent. Um, please help me uh, focus specifically on his session and see if I, uh, see if, like continue, make sure that all the energy is running appropriately, but see if you can help me um, focus on as needed, because I know that we're, we're going through this gateway where certain things are meant to merge. And you're, uh, the, the word, so the word that's coming in for you too is honor. Huge amount of honor. You, you are so incredibly honored and known. And I, honestly, it seems like, like um, this is one of those things that would be so, uh, that's so, obvious in higher dimensions you are so known you've got a lineage too man of shannon you really do you've got this lineage and it's nobility there's a nobility and in this lifetime you've been very much camouflaged um it's almost like you know who you are but uh, but others around you in like you're 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 one of those people is just very well camouflaged um invisible yeah, well, yeah, but it's it feels like it's by it's by strategy. I was going to say by design, but it's almost like it's a strategy. Like you came in, and this is true of so many uh, so many of us who who are in the reason and the reason that I wanted these sessions to be shared is because from this day forward, and we've been approaching it for a while. It's been building, but from this point forward, we're not dealing with them, with the problems. It's about creating the new, creating the new, creating the new. So it is now full. Um, it, it's time for full transparency. Thank you. 
Hey, so some of the thank you, that's so funny. Some of the thank you is coming from your ancestral lineage. And some of it is coming from um, just the sheer relief that we don't have to hide anything anymore because it has been fucking oppressive. It's been very oppressive to be not seen, not witnessed or, or unknown. And so many of us felt like we just felt surrounded by foreigners because we go down into density and we go into the experience of separation and we all hate it because we're all reaching out toward one another. And we know those of us who do this work that we, in order to fully connect with our brethren, and if you're listening to this, your brethren, you're one of this, you know, this, obviously there's a level in which everyone is family. I don't care who you are, but those of us who are light warriors, we know that there's like also another a portion of the light army, the light warriors who went first, who cut through the greatest density. And in order to do that, we had to carry certain things and challenges we have been through certain challenges that were some of the hardest things known on the planet we went in with into lineages that needed to be cleared we went into into and almost almost endless 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 work it felt endless it's not actually endless because there's actually an end to it we're here <laughs> It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that our activity, our work is going to end. Of course not. But now we're into it's almost like the oppression is the oppressive portion of it is ended. We're now going into uh, the commencement of the new, the creation of the new. So it's going to be very important that we're carrying. Um, wait, that's the wrong word. Wrong word. Um, we are. Uh, establishing, we're experiencing it first. We are going through, we're going through, and you know that, uh, uh, you know the way I go, uh, be the change you wish to see in the world? Those of us who have done the clearing work are now shedding the, um, or taking off the camouflage and saying, okay, now it's finally me. You see, you see me for what I actually am. And on the outside of this gateway, we're able to see one another and finally, and there's this massive recognition. So the, uh, the other thing, just to circle back around to what came in for you in the shower. <laughs> um, I heard this big um, symbols. Uh, what is that? It's like, yeah, symbols. It, it's like a bell, except it's and it, but it wasn't um, it wasn't clashing or crashing together. It was more like clapping with. It was more like a, the sound of angels clapping. Like if you think of a bell, it's like it, it was like go time. It was like that, and they're so happy. And I really got the uh, the the. There's something about the fact that symbols are round also. It was almost like a double gong, like, like we finally bridged the two things and the, it's like the, the polarities meet and there's an energetic blast that shoots us back and it opens up this great big portal and they're honoring you. There's a tremendous amount of angelic spiritual honor that is being gifted to you, Dave Yellen, today. And they say, thank you, thank you, thank you for being the one to carry and do this work because you have worked so hard. You've just worked so incredibly hard and it's just been endless. But there, it's not endless because it's ending. <laughs> but tremendous, tremendous amount of gratitude is going out to you at this time. And the word is just honor. A tremendous amount of honor. I'm really oh, definitely not just me. No, not at not at all. Not at all. Um, but they uh, there's a a relief and a there's a column. I I get the feeling <laughs> they're showing me that you have a column of strength that is <laughs> what's the word for that i don't have a word for that it's not going anywhere man 
It is solid. It is solid. And you have it's it's almost like it's you have you've come what well, I don't I don't know how to say that. <sighs> I don't know how to it's it's kingship. Kingship. It's it's as though there's there's a there's a metallic quality. There's like a, it's like what's the I don't have a word for this. It's almost like metallic stone. I don't mean like hematite, something that shatters. I mean something that is rock solid, but there's very distinctly a metallic conductive. This is some I, I, it's a mineral that I don't know, but it's something like that that is so. Dirty doesn't even begin to approach it. It doesn't move. It's it's established. It's established. And it comes from your nobility. There's a spiritual maturity and a spiritual kingship that says, I have arrived. And there's a majesty that says, yes, we have done it. And nothing is ever going to be the same again. It, we're never going back to that ever again. And it is a time for clarity. And purif the purification is over. The jo that job for the first wave is done. And we've stepped through this portal. And we're now holding open the floodgates. And it is your job today because you stepped into it willingly. And the here's the other thing that you and I know this, but they don't know this yet. Um, and I thank you very much for your service to me. Um, for those of you who saw my post, I had said, um, in the interest of full transparency, I, I am going to go out on this, uh, and try and do a private session. Uh, try to do a private session. And I had, in the interest of balance, I... I I made an I made an error that's that's like if I'm always if I made I made the error I always make <laughs> which is I reduced my my price in order to offer more service so I knew that somebody was, I was interested I wasn't sure who was going to step into that but the interesting thing about the co-creative space and this is the portal that we're going into is that one party, oh, also, I should say, we're stepping down from the savior model of operating and stepping into or through a portal that is going to take us into a space of co creation and equality. So that at no point does one person have to carry the whole shebang. Because I can tell you from personal experience that sucks. So I was I was moved to get it to a place of rebalancing or equality by saying, well, okay, I'm going to reduce my price to this was what I had first thought. I'm going to reduce my price to fifty dollars with the understanding because part of it is because I know where we're going. And my job still is. To uh, I work with mass migrations, and what I'm trying to do is get all of these groups up to five, as many as want to go. That is, all of them that want to go. Not everybody wants to go. And I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Somebody remind me if you can. Um, uh, but there. So for a couple of days, I I did the post. And then a lot, several people said it was a good idea, but then there were no takers. <laughs> and um, the days that that was like, I posted it and then there was nothing. So it's like I put it out to the universe and then I was guided. I had to go into a state almost of hermit mode or, or, or vacancy in order to go through a couple of adjustments. And then what um, What Dave Yellen came back with, he volunteered 
to be the first one. He volunteered to be the first one. So one, I was happy we had a volunteer. I was doubly happy that it was a man because I that sh that tells me what the energetics are doing because every force evolves a form. So it would mean something different if it was um, if it was another woman or another physical. You know, obviously we're we're all masculine and feminine, each one of us. But the physical vessel, the fact that it's a man, that tells me that we're at a different point in the rebalancing, which is closer to. Um, uh, that's good. That's what we wanted. Um, but then, uh, he paid for a session for the private rate. And then he said, I like that number better. And I do too, because honestly, at the time, during, uh, I only had $4. So, and we were out of groceries. I mean, like we're eating things from the back of the cupboard, et cetera. And um, we're out of tea, out of coffee. Um, and I was only able to, to get, to go out and get groceries, which is nourishment this morning because because you paid for a private session and it's it's interesting that it's three digits one 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 so if you look at that from the perspective of the 11 gateway we're talking about the third energy because it's like the the 11 gateway is one individual who's balanced another individual who's balanced and then the third energy is another one which is co-creative manifestation so the fact that i had asked for 50 which is my error that I always make. It's like I left, I left an opening, like I left a vacancy, but I wanted to see someone, you know, who's going to come through. And, but then you said, it's like you're, you're offering, see, this is why we're stepping into the fifth dimension. When you're going through the gateway, it's everything in the, in the lower dimensions is about trans, everything is transactional. It's a higher thing when you come from a platform that is giving and nourishing, where I'm saying, I'm, I want to engage in this offering, and somebody else comes back at me, instead of it being anything remotely like, like, there's, like competition is the lowest, and then transactional is a level higher. Like, I'll give you this, and you'll give me this, and it's cooperating, but it's still transactional. But creating from a place of gratitude and love and generosity is higher still, and that's what you came back at me with. And so you're the one who rolled it over. So what it so now we're in the third creative energy. And I, this is where we're talking about, we're, we're, we're commencing and rolling over into a new financial model that is not merely financial it's actually just a system of abundance and exchange and and also so watch what's happening in this live stream you've got we've got a three way um dynamic a, a three way co-creative dynamic which is actually leading you know it's opening the the um it's What's the word? What's the word? Um, I can see it. <laughs> uh, it's the, the energetic platform of co-creation on a larger scale, which is exactly what we knew was coming next after, this, uh, after the session I did with Zoya. I will just tell you very briefly the session I did with Zoya, who is a, um, she's a potter, um, my lifelong friend many lives she's a potter and i did a private session with her and uh so she uh she throws too so it's a um she most of her her work is uh it's kind of based in the divine feminine but she's also uh she throws so it's all about earth you know it, it's clay but it's also wet clay. There's a fluidity there. And she throws. So you've got uh, something that's rotating. And she moves the clay up into the form. But it's um, the, the position that she's carrying is very much about bringing, merging the divine feminine into the earth. 
And the interesting thing is that she paid 50-50, $50.50. So then, so I was, I, I thought that we were going to be on that for longer than we were. And the interesting thing too is that during her session, I had said to her that what we needed to do, there was a, a, a the the um, the idea of a sleeping policeman, you know, like a speed bump, like a um, there was like a sleeping policeman, and the information came in for her that we would going to have oh it's three 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 right now, <laughs> um, the information came in for her that there was going to be a little bit of a threshold where there was just like a little bit of resistance and the direction came in for her that she was going to have to just, just roll right over it. Like don't stop for it. Just hold yourself in confidence and just keep going. Pretend, like just ignore any of the, of the resistance that you may feel. So all of you should take that as well. At this point, It's important. I, I don't feel that we're going to meet very much resistance. I think, I, uh, but you know, if 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 small resistances come up, um, you need to know that you are the commander. You are the driver. From this point forward, the old rules don't apply to us for real. Like for real, because we're the one. Unless, unless you decide, well, this is the way it is, I'm going to recreate. So the, the, um, the choice point, the, we're, we're at a sacred choice point right now. And there's a, there's a caveat, a, um, it's not a caveat, it's, a, um, it's a, something to just be mindful of, that there's a tendency to, to if you go on autopilot pilot, to automatically assume that things are the way they have been. With this group, from this point forward, we need to know that our, manifest, uh, our manifestations are going to be much, 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 much faster. So it's going to be important to assume that miracles happen constantly. And assume that a many of the old rules do not apply to us and we can now maneuver, the word is maneuver, we are now able to maneuver within the old structure of society that appears in many ways like it hasn't changed or like it's in, you know, chaos. And many of those rules will no longer apply to those of us who are doing this work who have been, who have been met previously been met with so much resistance. The first wave who are crossing through this, this sacred gateway today, now have the freedom to make these choices that will, we, we will now affect the external circumstance to a far greater capacity than we have ever done it before. Than we ever had uh, life, uh, the ability to do before. We, we were subject to certain constrictions and where we were able to get by, uh, where they didn't apply to us, it was considered something of an anomaly or a miracle or something for the select few. But this, that we really have reached a place, for example, as a perfect example, um, I have not paid my electric bill in months and months and months, dis despite the fact I've got about $4,000 in multiple um, termination notices. I haven't even opened them because I knew that I only had $4 and I said, God, you're going to have to take it. I'm taking my power back. So I had to come into a state where I said, this is what I want. Energy is free. I know what the divine template is. And by my decision, I am now saying, I'm commanding it to let it be done. Energy is free. Electricity is free. We're now taking our power back. And from that perspective, my electricity is free, and it is. So I'm asking of all of you, 
or I'm telling you actually that you are now at this place where whatever you had been wishing would be the case and knowing that it actually can be better and it should be better and you can you can feel exactly you've got this ideal in your head you've got this ideal in your head and you know that things are supposed to be better than this you know that children don't belong in cages there are so many things that we know haven't been going right because we know we hold so strongly so clearly the idea the the not just the sheer conviction that it is otherwise it is the way we said it will be and so it is because there is this tipping point where now those of us who are going through this gateway today are claiming our sovereign right as creators that we're anchoring the architecture for the prolific circulation of joy that has nothing to do with lack, nothing to do with limitation, nothing to do with ailments. It has everything to do with love. It has everything to do with care. It has everything to do with generosity of spirit and generosity of everything else. And the creation of the external always begins with every last individual 5d earth is an extension of the 5d humanoid experience i don't even have a word for us because we're no longer human we are beings and we are all one and we're one with the earth and this is the commencement we were all waiting for it and it was never about a magical date it was a matter of when we reached the tipping point and that is now Do you hear those applause? <laughs> They're just angelic applause. <laughs> so here's the thing too. This gateway, this sacred gateway that, we're, that we have now opened as a collective, it is also, it works a little bit like an instant car wash. <laughs> if, if whatever you had, whatever you held, um, as you go through this, uh, this energetic gateway there is a stepping into a new world it's a threshold and it's a it's a death and a rebirth that is simultaneous and i invite you now to all the old uh limitations perceptions of lack anything that you may be carrying any residue any residue any restriction Anything, you name it. I'm just adding, you never have to think about it ever again. You never have to think about it ever again. You may be called, because you'll still recognize it. <laughs> you'll recognize it because from this point forward, you are now going to be bringing up the next level, the second wave, because they are still going to be going through the process that we've been going, that we had been going through. Granted, so here's the thing. We cut through the, the, the densest and the thickest. The word comes through bullheaded. Um, we, we kind of plowed through the densest. And with that experience in mind, it is, uh, we are going to go into a, our new, uh, many of us are being called to move into new positions of service, but the positions of service are, it has a feeling that's very kind to it, where like previously it was about going through, going into positions of darkness or positions of um, uh, incredible density. Uh, that just kind of kept repeating and repeating and repeating because there was just purely so much to do. So now that this, this first wave is going over, we're still going to be, um, our, our service level is actually going up, but it's going to feel like retirement to us. <laughs> because we all love to serve and we're going to be serving others that, um, others that are eager to learn. So it's not like we're going to be, have to be, um, 
tell like hanging out with with <laughs> like hanging out in in groups of like the unawakened and where like you know you know they exist you know just like i have to go to the office every day or wherever you have to go and and nobody here is awakened yet but you have to put your time in it's kind of like that time is over for those of us who are crossing over um the service now is going to be a, a, about It's going to be about teaching, in um, assisting others who, I don't know how, I, okay, help me say this, then I'm going to go bring it back to you, I promise. Um, assisting others, okay, I'm just going to, I'm, tact ain't my strong suit. I'm just going to be direct about it. Have you ever uh, dealt with people who haven't had the same, they don't have the same amount of strength. So sometimes what other people think of as problems, you can't even identify as a problem because like, I can't believe you're so upset of this because, because those of us who are like, you know, we've, we've gone through like the, the densest, the, the real horrendous beef of a thing. And that you come home and you're like, somebody doesn't know how to tie their shoelaces or they got upset because they spilled milk or something that's just really not that big a deal, but they get flustered and they don't know what to do. It's kind of like we're going to be helping, like holding the hands of the children or in, serving in some way because the second wave is there are more of them. There's a huge number of, of those who the people who um are just – like they're mid they're midway they're just beginning to wake up and we know what our process was like we did the we what we did was actually harder but they don't know that <laughs> like what they're going through is um is very easy compared to well i shouldn't say it's easy because it's hard for them Everything is relative, but it's kind of like they're going to need some assistance. It's going to be very, it's going to feel very easy to us. And plus, we're not going to be doing so much of it directly. For example, many of us who are, who have been doing private sessions and even those of us who have been doing group sessions, we're going to be moved in up. We're going to be moved up. We, we have moved up. We have moved up into a place, into a realm where our energetic influence does much of the work on our behalf and we can actually take a, more of a rest because most of us who have gone through this, oh my God, we need a fucking break. We really need a break. We need a rest. And so from this point forward... It's something like our service. It's like it's going to be for a time. It's going to be half service and half rest for a time while while we're getting our bearings. Because or getting our bearings might be the wrong word. We're, uh, there's a there, um, wait, getting our bearings. Uh, it's there are new rules. The new rules of co-creation. They, they're different. So I'm planning on doing an entire live stream just about the rules of co-creation, the rules of creation going forward. But I really do would like to try and get, see if I can get this back to just you because, because you paid for a session. <laughs> um, there is, go, go ahead. Go ahead. What? No. Shh. I said, don't just do as you're guided. Don't worry about. Me. Well, actually, I I would like to. And I would like to. And um. No, I would like to bring this back to you for a minute. There's a um. This comes as no surprise at all. <laughs> You've got and an, an, it's so interesting. I'm wondering if any of you can. Uh, are able to tune into his energy too. I know you can't see him.
your energy is incredibly warm. It's incredibly, uh, I already mentioned that it, there's a nobility and a, and, a, and a strength, but it's also incredibly warm. There's a, okay, there's, it's, it's, it's the, um, the, t oh gosh, that's nice. Um, you're a stat, you're, um, and what's the word? What's the word? Initiating, uh, commencing something about the, the, um, the, the care, oh, carrying, holding. No, it's not it. It's, um, there's something about like imprinting, imprinting, you're imprinting the, it's very nice. Um, imprinting the template for the divine masculine going forward. Wow. There's a, I mean, obviously every individual carries their own, but you've got a balance. You really have done your work over time, many, many times over. Um, to the point where you are uh, honored with this gift, you are able, you have purified, and uh, that's the wrong word. Um, you are the, it's like you're the chosen vessel for this task of all who could have been chosen for this particular gateway. You stepped up. It was like a, it was like a co-creation. It was like you stepped up, but you were also chosen to step up. You were tapped to step up, honored with the, <laughs> I'm getting the word like the chosen one. <laughs> um, there's a, um, and I really do feel that coming from the, um, from the, I want to say the kingdom, there's a, um, they say you've done well, well. It's interesting, the energy shifts so much when I'm speaking just to you because like number one, I'm no longer yelling. <laughs> um, uh, there's, uh, you've done extremely well. There's a tremendous amount of honor and there's they're showing me something like an imprint. There's, uh, I don't know what that, it's something like, Everyone who, because you're carrying the other side of this gateway, your particular qualities are being imprinted. Uh, the codes that you're carrying are being given, gifted to all of those who pass through. And it truly is a gift. It's like, it's almost like your, 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 uh, Man, what's the word? Um, your co your codes that you were carrying that that nobody else were carrying. You 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 have adjusted. You've done your work to such a degree that that it's like your algebra your uh, has is being gifted to all who pass through, so that they may also share in some of the qualities that you have held. And you're able to nurture others with such care, care. You're imbuing the qualities. You've, you've really balanced. You've got a masterful balance of qualities that have been, have been um, up to this point so lacking on earth in the masculine. And I'm not knocking them out. It was the conditioning, obviously, but there was so much pollution. There was so much pollution, and they're saying that you have cleared it. You have carried, born. They're saying you have born. You've done a tremendous job undoing the, um, the old so that now you are carrying masculine nurture the way it was actually designed to be, the way it was actually designed to be. So that we are never going back to the area of oppression. We are never going back to any of that. And they're saying thank you for your service because it was indeed a true gift to humanity. 
the care that you are you've been able to men in positions of caregiving men in positions of nurture you are so honored you are so honored and so loved and we thank you so much for your service thank you I'm going to let the applause die down for a minute because it's coming down. It's very interesting. I will um, say, too, that uh, one of the things they're saying is happening. Um, <laughs> you are in a masculine body, but you in your internal, you have carry, you're, you're holding, let me put it that way, you, have, you are holding a sacred feminine and you they're saying that there's a there's a balance between the two of us because i'm in a feminine body but you know that also as joan of arc i have had the i've carried the masculine um in the inside and that was specifically done to promote balance so that we could easily uh more easily bring our uh uh bring our respective populations into a state of balance because the feminine the the females of the planet needed to become that much stronger and the men needed to learn how to nurture and become more sensitive and it was actually we're just bringing ourselves back into balance and they say that you are the ideal choice for this job and so am i <laughs> so i thank you that's wonderful thank you for stepping up <laughs> So let's see. If this, if, if this was sort of a template that I would wish upon somebody. <laughs> yes, but from this point forward, things are going to be getting a lot easier for you, um, and for all of us. So let's see. I'm going to. See, I would really personally like to see if we can. Uh... Okay, let's do this right now. Um, for those of you who are listening who are watching and who are going to uh, do this later, I know so many of us here are healers. We're definitely all um, uh, light workers, uh, uh, those of generous nature. Can we right now? Let's. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be a better way to say this. I was going to go. I was going to say, send you a, a bathe you, uh, send you a, a bath, a bathe you, a surrounded flow love and healing and revitalization and we invite you to open to receive this because this is actually something on behalf of you really are doing a a, a, a have done a phenomenal job um carrying a tremendous weight for the divine masculine collective and too often the divine masculine collective has been undervalued underseen um really truly bashed by especially on the twin flame journey those of us who were waiting for our divine masculines who were just like where the hell are you gonna show up there was a lot of um uh angry and pissy women out there like where the hell them like show up already um, and the men that actually had shown up for the job were forced to carry not only their that amount of the burden, but they were carrying the burden for the you know the other divine masculines who weren't there yet. So those of them who did step into that early, and you have you have been carrying more than your share of the weight. So I invite you right now, please replenish him and give him much more. Uh, put a whole bunch of love on him. Um, and let's just keep it. Let's just keep it flowing. I'm, uh, you know, if any of you who have um, who have been following my live streams know that any session with me, I work uh, only with group energy, um, and the sessions don't end. the 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 video will stop at some point, but the session doesn't end. There's actually just a merger, and the rivers. Uh, every person brings uh, brings in their own uh, additional flow. And so the, uh, the flow is just getting stronger and stronger and more and more benevolent. There's more and more love, more and more nurture. And so right now, you who have served 
who have served and served and served and carried so much. Let us now replenish you and also take some of the weight off of, take some of the energetic weight off of your shoulders so that we're, uh, the, 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 um, the fifth dimensional circulation system is universally held. It's equally held. It's very much like, um, like the Knights of the Round Table where the gateway is about one divine feminine, one divine masculine. And then on the other side of the gateway, there is equality and equality, equality, equality. So at no point are we going to go back to carrying way more than our share of the burden. So we're inviting that, that from an energetic perspective, there's go, things are going to be way easier from this point forward. And I'm also going to include myself in the circulation too. Sometimes I forget that. So let's see what, what else wants to come in. Is there anything? So, okay, I'm going to see if I can bring this back in and make it. Let me go tilt AJ. Say it again. Let me go tilt AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Let's really flow some energy to him right now and his son. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Go on. Okay, well, I'm making a phone call now. Thank you, 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 Miracles. Let's. Why not? Actually, you know, it's so funny because this just came in. This just came in. So, um, it's so easy sometimes to think of miracles as something that 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 don't merely that don't flow, or something as like a miracle occurred. Or even if we think miracles happen, even if we know that miracles happen, you know, our language is going to be changing a lot too. Our language is going to be changing a lot. The whole idea of miracles as something, number one, that's rare. That's not true. Miracles happen all the time. <clears throat> and when we call in a miracle, when we call in a miracle, it is tempting sometimes to focus on the singular, largely because we've been in a place where things were singular and they were rare and we were separate from one another. But really, there are so many things we're going into. We're in a realm, so our language is going to have to change because we're here now. And miracles all happen all the time. Miracles happen all the time. And there are many of us who know that miracles happen all the time. And we really need to, to reprogram our minds to just accept, accept, accept. Miracles are like popcorn. They're, they're just, they're, they, just, they just erupt everywhere. And we just need, there's like a, there's like a feeling of, <laughs> there's like a feeling of, we, I like miracles. Like, let's just sprinkle them all over. And we all have that capacity, and particularly now because we're, um, we're engaging more and more. More and more. We're, uh, we're intermingled. We're, we're um, what's the word? What's the word? The whole place feels carbonated. It feels carbonated with um, an, an, inter, an intermingling of, um, <laughs> like those of us who in the fifth dimension, and, um, and angelic frequencies. It's just like, like um it's like carbonated sparkles. It's like, um, it's like, it, it feels like popcorn. Like we need a miracle there and, and a kernel will just go, and it, it's just going, things are just going to pick up the pace and there's going to be a multiplicity of the miraculous. Miracles are moving from something singular and kind of rare that, that draws your attention and makes you say, how did that happen? Where you think almost like something like, um, 
like, well, I wouldn't have thought that could happen. That makes it a miracle. The only thing that really uh, distinguishes a miracle from any, any other really, really good healing, really other, uh, any good thing, is the level of your disbelief. So when we believe that absolutely anything is possible and things are getting better and better and better, and we're leading, the, we're, we've just crossed over, we've opened the floodgates for something like, <laughs> I, I want to say the Boston Marathon, I, just, I, I don't know any other marathon, but some, some kind of a huge marathon, but it's like everybody is, connecting video, what just happened? Wait, 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 what just happened? Did that just shut off? What just happened? Did I lose him? Did I lose you? What happened? Wait. What just happened? Tap to expand. Whoops. Oh, come on. Oh, no. What did we lose him? Crap. How did that happen? Connection lost. Let's see if we get it back. And then I'm going to have to see. Oh, I hope I can. Um, I might have to move him to a different... I wonder if we lost data. Okay. This may wind up switching to a live stream, and then I'll go back to just him if, if we lose him. It's 4.04 right now. So four for structure, four for structure, zero in the middle, and zero is for God's source. Okay. The call dropped. Crap. All right. Um, let's try him one more time. Did we lose him? So four is structure, four is structure, and zero in the middle is for God's source, and all is one. So I like that idea that if, if you think about the, like the, um, the column and the column, and in the middle is this gigantic flow. Okay, the call dropped. Shit. I'm going to keep going. Uh, so, Dave, if you're listening, I will call you back when this is over. All right. We're going to switch into the live stream. I knew I was going to do a live stream. I just wasn't sure where it was going to come. So, let's see what comes in. For Actually, is there a way to send him? Um, can I answer him on this? No, I'm going to lose if I do that. Okay. Hang on a second. Bear with me a minute. Um, hang on. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to text him. Um, I think the call, hang on a minute. Sorry. Take an intermission. Two minutes. Uh, the call keeps dropping. Um, hang on. Finish the live stream and okay. Send. Okay. All right. I'm just getting my bearings again. One second. Uh, can we do this? Let me do this. Let me do this. I need 30 seconds. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What time is it? Okay, it's 4.06. Um, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, one moment, please. As uh, in the, uh, I've got to pee, so I'm just going to call it like it is. <laughs> in the interest of full transparency, I've got to go pee, and I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry kids. So let's do this. I'm doing this one second. Okay, back we go. You can sit over there. Thank you for waiting. No, don't turn off the light, kid. There you go. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Oh. So I guess I am going to talk about uh, creation, co-creation, stepping into the new realm. The reason I added Kenji is because uh, just yesterday, Kenji's former owner um, <laughs> sent me a text and wanted to know how he was doing. And I said, he's doing great. And he's very often my co-host <laughs> on my YouTube channel, which brings me to this point before I start, before I go off on the... Uh, uh, I would... Uh, if you are able to, I'm thinking of um, I'm thinking of starting to do live streams on YouTube instead because it would save me the transferring process. Uh, I think it might be easier. Um, the channel is the Ascension Arc, the Ascension Arc, and if all of you could go and uh, subscribe and watch on there, I would appreciate that as well. I'm not sure. Um, if I'm going to continue, well, I probably will continue to do them um, here as well, but it may be easier, so I'm going to try to maybe um, switch venues, and at any rate, I could use the, um, I could use subscribers. Um, the information, I, we're at a particular juncture, and from here, there's going to be a, um, I'm already aware that I'm going to be spending less time on YouTube, more time doing other things. Um, there are a number of, of different venues, and it's branching out. I'm aware of um, I'm aware of at least four or five main trajectories that are coming in. So, um, like a, any of you who have followed my work on YouTube know that, like I used to do written posts, which I may wind up going back to that, but. Um, uh, I don't know, things are, it, it, it's a time of rapid adjustment. So I know I'm going to be doing more writing. I know I'm going to definitely know, I, I've been told already that um, I'm going to be going on, they said a, a speaking tour, and they won't tell me anything else about it other than it's, uh, it's a speaking tour and it's probably going to be large, and I know that that's coming. Um, so, uh, at any rate, yes, and I'm also going to be starting a school that I'm not really, I, I think I'm not supposed to talk about it yet. We're looking for funding for a school. Um, I, st I was supposed to start a school five years ago and tried very hard to get a particular site. And I was going to tell you about this. The site is in Rifton. There's a particular building that I tried very hard to get. And we met with, with a tremendous amount, very, very thick dark attack. Um, and we were unable and pervasive, incredibly, incredibly dense. Um, and there, it, it was so, procuring that site, which is important, it is a, a key point, but procuring it, um, was so difficult that the, our strategy changed, and I don't mind telling you what the strategy changed to since they already know it doesn't matter. Um, it's a very small, it's, it's a, it's Rifton, Rifton, New York, um, Rifton, and this is where the school is, and it's the site of, of, uh, you wouldn't think so, it's one of those things that's hidden in plain sight, but the, the plain sight is, uh, the fact that it's called Rifton, um, and it is uh, one of the places on the earth where, you know how like on the physical body there are acupuncture points where like if there's a problem in your liver, you can, um, you know, the, you can 
whatever, you can um, address an acupuncture spot to affect the liver. And the earth does things like that too. Well, the Hundred Years' War, uh, the uh, Loire Valley in southern France is connected on something like a acupuncture line, uh, ley line, uh, meridian, um, to rift in New York. And that location is where most of the conflict energy from the Hundred Years' War, which I was going to talk about today, because the, um, uh, not because we're looking backwards, but specifically because we're looking forwards, and, and we need to talk about um, certain strategies. When you're looking at energetic dynamics, uh, the energetic dynamics, you know, it's all about solving the same basic problem. The same, uh, the same problems repeat until you change them. So if you have something like a, a specific area of conflict on, from, for the earth, certain energy was picked up by the earth that went through the, the ley lines and, um, and coagulated like a great big, uh, like a massive uh, abscess of energy, and that's in Rifton, New York. And there are many things I can say about Rifton, but real. Uh, and we're gonna also we're gonna clean it clean it up. I I was living on that um, in Rifton for uh, for sixteen years, and the entire time I was incredibly ill, incredibly ill. And it's because my energy was going. And before I knew anything about energy medicine, before I knew anything about Joan of Arc. I was aware that my energy was draining into the ground, and I just didn't know why. Um, and now I know why. Um, I've been adjusting that energy for quite some time. And then even after I moved out of that town, I went back to the school site um, every almost every single day for about five years with my dogs, and I worked there with teams and teams of people and individually for hours every day um, doing work on that site and we still didn't get it because man they really want to hold that particular location so not like i was too stuck on it or anything um the energy of that site is also um linked very strongly to the battle of paris where i was trying to at when i was joan of arc we were trying, the, the city was walled and we were trying to liberate, it was, it was walled and it was held by the English. Um, we were trying to liberate the city and the place where I got really stuck in uh, war energy or attached to the trauma, you know, uh, uh, trauma is its own attachment. And then I'm going to talk about creation, but I want to get this part out of the way first. Uh, Trauma creates its own attachment. One of the reasons this became such an incredibly difficult place to get out of is because you repeat patterns until the trauma is healed. And when, you, when you're dealing with uh, huge numbers of people who've had collective trauma, you just kind of keep going back to try to resolve it. So the dynamics of... So it basically... Um, I could take this in about five different directions. I, I also, I was so interesting because there's collective trauma, and then I, I also had personal trauma, um, things that were just unresolved in me, a leftover from that lifetime. Um, the evidence of which one of the things that was evident is that when I was uh, I was born in this vessel, this body, with a divot. In my in my left thigh, it's right there. Um, if I was wearing something different, I would stand up and show it to you. Um, in my my left thigh, I've got. It looks like if you were to push your thumb into bread dough um, and pull it out again, I was born with a divot that goes right to the bone. And uh, like now, I'm really fat, but what, and it looks like cellulite. But when I was, I've had it since I was born, and you know, even as a child, and it just goes all the way. It's a big, a big dent, and it's a deep dent. It goes all the way to the bone, and that is left over from um, from the Battle of Paris, where uh, someone shot 
uh, Joan of Arc in the left thigh with a crossbow. And um, as Joan of Arc, I was shot twice. Once was once was right here, and it's interesting because now I have this. I ha now I have a port. Um, I had a port installed. Um, very close to the place of the original um, of where I, I was also shot with an arrow at a different battle. And, but that one didn't leave me with, it didn't leave me coming in with a birth, birth like evidence of it uh, because I didn't have trauma associated. Like it, like I had resolved that issue. That one didn't even bother me. So I, I heard I got shot, but it didn't, um, it didn't affect me in this life. It didn't carry over because it was resolved. Like I got over the fact, like I was at war, I got shot. Um, but I carried in physical evidence of having been shot in the thigh because that battle was still a very, I was still really upset. I was still really upset that we didn't get Paris. We didn't liberate Paris. I wanted that, I wanted that. I was very driven about that. And uh, until you can meet that with peace and release it, and that's why it took me five years at Anna Divine, because Anna Divine School is, it's basically the same problem. You're, you're gonna meet the same issue until you can respond appropriately. Is Calico still here? Because I think this dog needs to go out. Calico, are you here? Oh, there she is. Calico, please walk. Um, please walk him right. No, he has to pee right now. I'm talking to people and he has to pee right now. So please let him out. Um, so that's why I had to go through a process of trying to, uh, trying to, uh, trying to get this particular property and then failing again. And responding to the failure a different way, other than anguish and, and wanting to kill myself because I had let everyone down. My, but here's the thing, the energetics of it, there are, um, during the Hundred Years' War, and then I'll tell you why it actually matters to what's happening on Earth now, because it does. Um, the Hundred Years' War had a particular dynamic to it. And remember I said everything that happened in the Hundred Years' War in the Joan of Arc Lifetime was a, that was one template that was preparing us for the template now. During the Joan of Arc lifetime, the political arena was similar. Like the cast is, is different, but it's all the same people. We're just, it's just different. But very, uh, like the energetic dynamics are really an awful lot in common. <laughs> it's really the same thing, just repeated. And collectively, we're going to we're going to repeat it until we fix it. So this is us fixing it. Um, so what I had said about Anna Divine School this this time, this lifetime, failing to get it was hard for me. I was really pissed. I was really disappointed. I was crushed, really. Still am. And I'm still not entirely. It's leased right now. They didn't sell it. They leased it. They leased it for 10 years. So any of you who know anything about numbers know that um, 10 is for, you know, it's, it's new beginnings and uh, taking a new direction, thoughts. And then zero is for uh, God source. So it's all about like death and new beginnings. So the form and the circumstance cannot change until the energetics, the energetic platform changes. Because if you simply try to change something on a lateral level, you can't change it. That's one of the things you learn in the third dimension. You learn that, um, that uh, it's a pointless endeavor, and or or you don't learn. You you know you die and you have to come back. Um, what I what I I'm still not. I have let go of it at this point. But this is what I think is going to happen. Because I'm not I'm not saying we're not going to go back and get that particular site because it's important. It's strategically important. There are certain sites that are strategically important. 
And in the lifting of the planet, there are certain sites which have just remained problems. Stuck, stuck areas. So sometimes it's a benefit to free something, relinquish it, and basically then go leave this problem until later. Because it is such a stronghold, it's so funny too. Uh, because it's such a stronghold of the dark, right now the dark has it. Man, they have it. It is locked down. If you go to that to, to that place, you will see that everything is crisp and it's it's tight. And one of the first things they did when they took that property, when they leased the property, they paint. They went. To, you remember how I said that I wanted to paint the parking lot in polka dots. I was going to do murals on the whole building, and um, and I wanted the the parking lot to be uh, polka dot and have picked. I had plans for the property. Good ones too. Really good ones. She's cross. Um, I had plans and it's so interesting that everything that I wanted to do with that building, they did a third dimensional version of, and it's very uncomfortable. So they painted the parking lot. The, one of the first things they did was paint the parking lot. Oh, the parking lot. They re parking spaces. They put the arrows where you're supposed to, they put the signs back up. Do not park here. And, you know, personally, I think people need to learn where to park their cars. And I think that nobody's going to go apeshit crazy and park on the grass. They're all going to know, what, you know, everyone knows what a parking lot's for. I think you can trust people to know where to put their, or to learn how to navigate, whatever. Um, but my, my, so we're leaving that for the time being because it is held so it's like four pentacles. They really want it. They're holding it and they're locking it. They're locking into it. So the strategy now, and it's also because of my particular, my particular energetics, I can't get my energy down um, past. I, I can, I can dip into four, but that's as low as I can get it. That's why we needed somebody else who was there to do that.